Hello, Katka here, and you're so welcome to this December song, YouTube Pop. Here I have shipped from AB Studio, and I'm thinking to do like a winter land landscape. I start with the to paint on my shipboard with white heavy gesso. I'm tapping it on with the with the kitchen sponge. I'm pretty sure now to leave uh, the thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe to all the channels to it. Okay, now it's time for some texture. I will add a Finna Bear's white crackle. Yes, love crackles. And now I'm speeding up the video a bit. So I'm adding the crackle with the spatula. More bigger pieces you have, bigger crackles. Here I have some wooden uh, uh, branches and I put on some gloves to not get my hands too messy. Uh, I have some soft gloss gel, some fabric and always also some lace and I'm working on a piece of packaging and you see I dip the fabric in the soft gloss gel or soft gel any medium like that can working this uh, thing take a little bit time to dry so I'm adding and I'm sorry, I'm a little bit out of the camera and I want to add the wooden pieces. So I'm dipping them. You can put it on in the somewhere if you don't like to dip it. And I'm not caring so much how the fabric goes and how it looks. I will not push it too hard. Uh, I want to keep it like a little bit like fluffy. So you see me, I'm playing around. I still want to show the wooden pieces. I also adding the lace and I try to hide the card, uh, the packaging, the cardboard in the behind. I find this was much more easy to work than on the shipboard background uh, immediately. Here I also decided that I want to have the heavy body gel uh, because it need to be, be dry and I keep that for drying. I have these small um, Christmas tree. I have some white uh, paint from Prima and I try to spray it because I still want to have it paint. And whilst it's a little bit wet, uh, because the blossom uh, spray was a little bit sticky, so I'm thinking to sprinkle white glitter because it will be like a snowy landscape. So I want to do it like crispy and snowy. And I leave them to dry because I have also some small uh, trees. The trees are from uh, Tim Holtz. They come in many sizes. And I sprinkle the glitter. And I, you can have any glitter you like. And I'm adding like two little bit extra gold glitter. I also have these small deers and they are really tiny. Uh, I want to paint them first with heavy gesso. A little bit tricky when it's a small one. I paint them and leave them to dry always when you have things that are a little bit dimensional to paint everywhere and the surface of these deers are glossy, but it's okay. So be sure to comment, leave some love, and subscribe to all the channels. 
to be able to win. We have so many great sponsors. And be sure to go to the next uh, uh, channel after me. There are so many incredible, beautiful uh, techniques and ideas, so you can't miss it. Here, I want to, to be them shimmery, so you can already guess that I will do like a very crispy and shimmery project. Yes. We need glitter, more glitter to the people. We love that. So I'm doing this and things need to be get dry. My background and my items. Now my elements uh, where everything will stand. It has been dr almost dry. So I paint it. Uh, and it takes a little bit time uh, before it dry. You can use your heat heating tool, but I um, take a break and do things. So this is almost dry and now I'm painting it to get really heavy gesso. And now it's time to glue it on the sh round shipboard. So it's time to glue. And I use the 3D matte gel and I, you see, I take pretty much because I want this to be sure that it will stay um, and press it well. And it's a perfect gel, anything will hold. So I will leave that for drying. I'm heating it a little bit and I will set it aside. Okay, now everything is dry. It's so crackled and beautiful. And this took really great hours to dry up, but everything is dry up. And now it's the fun part starts. It's to decorate. Yeah, it's always fun be in uh, the last stages to decorate. I have like a lot of yarn stuff and you, uh, that kind of uh, perfect for this uh, thing. You use this uh, tassel white uh, when you polish cars. It's very cheap and uh, unexpected in uh, expensive to use them in your projects. So you see I'm using the white uh, things and uh, using the 3D matte gel and uh, gluing everything. So you can see a little bit close up for the deers to take place. I'm trying out so they will hold. Uh, and thinking how I will have the composition and uh, gluing them. And then we have the new paste, the Finabear uh, effect paste, Golden Dragon. Oh, it's full, it's, uh, there are flakes and there are glitter and the paste looked a little bit gray, but it's uh, will dry clear so I will add like this paste with the spatula and to get some extra shimmer and uh, it gets incredible when it's dry so not too much but anyway I want to have pretty much uh, that's why I'm using the spatula if you don't want to add the paste so much, you can use um, a brush instead. So perhaps you can do like that. But I have a spatula because I want it to be really goldy and sparkling. So Everything uh, of this need also then to dry, but I try to add 
and like the embellishments and the paste and more of the John stuff polish uh, the John I don't know what the really name but the John stuff and while everything is wet I pick out some uh, bubbles I was thinking to paint them but I like them to be like the white to give a little bit extra like shine and they'll make like a snow uh, balls I think the name is I love these natural bubbles and I try to add them and it's perfect to add them while the pay effect paste is not complete dry so I add them to make my composition more um, interesting and add a little bit more paste if necessary to make the, the bubble stick or it's the pearls. The pearls come from Tim Holtz and they are just beautiful because there are no holes in the bubble in the pearls and that's great. You can also use um, anyone. Now we have one more gorgeous uh, paste, the crushed eyes. It's transparent paste with like clear pearls inside it so it makes like yeah like crushed eyes and icy look and I will have it only on some places it gives like a crispy shape like something have been frozen and I'm adding it here and there not too much uh, it dries uh, clear, and, but the small clear stones make like, yeah, like crushed ice pearls. Just incredible. And that's perfect for my winter landscape. And again, spatula, but I'm sure to not have too much little bit here and here like it's like frozen pieces so hope you like this uh, youtube hop uh, please let me know what you think and uh, let me know from where you are and um, yeah hope you get inspired of all the amazing winter projects i believe you can see the artists um, personality in every project that we show. Okay, I want to uh, add uh, light to my project so because it will hang on the wall. So I'm using the glue gun and I have this lighting project and try to set it like in more on the upper part and only a little bit underneath and I add like shipboard pieces to leave the wire because you need to have something to hold on the glue gun it's perfect because it will stick but I also add like shipboard pieces on the top so it will hold and yes yeah, soon our project is finished and i really hope you have are still on this stage uh, because my video is a little bit too long but it's so difficult to show it um, to do it shorter mixed media projects uh, because you know mixed media project take some time with drying and the different parts anyway i'm happy that you have watched and you see me working with the wire and it's a little bit tricky anyway i hope you are okay and get inspired and please check out the next video it's so fun and i'm so happy that you are play with us 
and I'm soon finished and will put on the light on my uh, my winter landscape and I'm always so exciting at the end and yeah so so fun and I yeah it works I get light everywhere and wow I'm love it the light will be there and um, I will put something to hang on it and it's crispy and beautiful so stay tuned to the last uh, uh, picture so you can see how it turned out and yeah here you can see it without the light it's so amazing and crispy and I had so fun during this process uh, so goldy and icy and with a crackle I love my project and here you can see my project with the light so thank you and hope to see you soon again bye bye